Can Mahomes reach MJ level greatness when all is said and done? Max? Yeah, you, you can't rule that. Yeah, you can't rule that out yet, which is saying something. Usually, by this point in the guy's career, a couple of years in, you go, "Hey, ain't gonna be Michael Jordan." And there's never been a Michael Jordan of football, not really, because what does Michael Jordan mean? Michael Jordan just doesn't doesn't just mean you're the goat. It means you were clearly the best when you played, the most talented, the best. You put up the biggest numbers, and you wound up the biggest winner of your era. Jordan's not the biggest winner of all time. That's Bill Russell, but that was like BC. In the modern era, Jordan won six and was six for six, right? So Tom Brady is the GOAT. He outlasted guys. But the peak of Tom Brady, you could argue, is the best ever. But you could argue a lot of guys there. Brady wasn't putting up Jordan numbers year in and year out. That was actually Peyton Manning, right? But he wasn't as big a winner. That's still vacant in the NFL. You look at other sports. What do you look for? When you say that guy could be Jordan, Stephen A., remember when Doc Gooden came on the scene as a 19-year-old, already basically the best pitcher in baseball, as a 20-year-old at one of the best seasons ever? Sandy Koufax said he'd trade his past for Gooden's future. Didn't work out that way for Doc, but early on he had a shot. Kobe Bryant, when he broke into the NBA, was doing such great things at such a young age. Could he catch Jordan? Didn't work out that way, but he almost did. Patrick Mahomes... The first time he got an opportunity to start through 50 touchdowns, only 12 interceptions, took his team to the AFC Championship game, and if not for a pre-snap penalty, I think he wins the Super Bowl Then the and wins the MVP of the regular season anyway. The next year, he wins MVP of the Super Bowl, leading 10-point fourth quarter comeback with a, what, 15-step drop and a 60-yard bomb on a pass that he called? Like on a play that he called? Patrick Mahomes has had the most brilliant start to a football career maybe ever at the quarterback position, and you can't rule out. He already has one Super Bowl championship, nearly two out of two seasons. You can't rule out that when it's all said and done, Stephen A., we're going to say he hit the highest heights and he was the dominant winner of his era, making him some kind of MJ equivalent. Well, I'm ruling it out. Um, first of all, um, as great as Patrick Mahomes is, playing football is entirely different than talking about basketball. So we understand that. It's not an individual sport, and there's too many people that you have to depend on for you to achieve the level of success that he hopes to acquire. That's number one. Number two, um, we have to take into account the fact that Patrick Mahomes went from 50 touchdowns to throwing 26. He missed a couple of games due to an injury, but he went from 50 to 26. So clearly the 50 touchdowns that he threw in his first year as a starting quarterback, 50 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, a Herculean effort, no doubt. Uh, but it was an aberration. Uh, he'd probably do better next year with more than 26 touchdowns. I, I certainly assume that. But I don't think we can predict that he'd have a year like he had his first year. Number three. Tom Brady has never been uh, accused of being Michael Jordan. Tom Brady has had a 50 touchdown season. Tom Brady has won six Super Bowls. Tom Brady has been to nine Super Bowls. Tom Brady has dominated the AFC East division. Uh, what was it, 17 division titles for crying out loud in that span? Um, excuse me, and he was never confused of being Jordan. That's number four. And then I think about the fact that when I look at uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes, as much of a stud as he is and all of that stuff, and he is definitely otherworldly, there is no doubt about that. Michael Jordan's ability to single-handedly do a lot of things, it's not to say that Patrick Mahomes can't do things single-handedly because he's phenomenal, and we get all of that. But I go back to what my original point was. Too many elements determine Patrick Mahomes' success. That doesn't. That isn't the case with a great basketball player. A great basketball okay, player look. can individually and single-handedly take over things, and that's why I'm of that mindset. Yeah, look. If you're arguing that a football player can't be the Michael Jordan of football, it's not just possible. I can't argue with that. That's right. I'm saying, in so far saying. as it's possible in the NFL, that we've never quite seen it. Like, let's put it this way, Stephen A. Let's say Aaron Rodgers had played for Belichick and won five or six championships, right? That would have been the Jordan equivalent in the NFL. In other words, the eyeball test says that guy's the best. The numbers, the individual numbers are off the charts. Oh, my God, that guy's the best. And then in addition to that, he wins the most, which obviously is more team dependent in the NBA. Sorry, in the NFL, 
than the NBA. But Mahomes winning in many ways. First of all, the 26 touchdowns against five interceptions. His TD to interception ratio actually got better, which tells you he can be the kind of quarterback you need to win, whether you need him to throw mm -hmm. 50 or game manage a little bit more. You need him to truck someone for a touchdown in the Super Bowl, that's what he'll do. He'll run someone over. You need him, as I said, take a 13, 15 step drop and throw a 60 yard bomb, he can do that. You need him to find a receiver, a tight end, whatever you need from Patrick Mahomes so far in a very short you know, career so far, he can do it. I can't say I've ever, I can recall off the top of my head, a beginning to a career like this, Stephen A. Very nearly two championships in two seasons with, with already with an MVP and a finals MVP. What's for year three? Like, who's to say he can't throw another 50 well, touchdowns? You can look and at this it, time you, win the you can Super look at Bowl it like again. that. I can think about Dan Marino. I can think about Dan Marino when he first took over for Don Shula in Miami and he had Mark Superdupe and Mark Clayton and how prolific that mm -hmm. offense was and it took the San Francisco Lucas 49ers, Harrison. if I remember correctly, to stop them in the Super Bowl. You can bring that yeah. up and you can also bring up the way the game has changed and how soft the game is called today in the National Football League compared to what it was uh, against yeah. defensive players you, in the past. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.